Yo, what's up? This is Hurricane Dave. The boss is in the building, and you are checking out hiphopwire.com. You already know that. That's what's up. There's a lot of beef in hip hop. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about truth. I love truth. You actually were the man that was responsible for bringing the truth between DJ Drama and Jeezy, and then Gucci came in on the back end. Mm -hmm. How did you bring that about, and why did you think that was so important to be done? Because with so many jocks you have on this station, it's not like Jeezy couldn't have come up here and been on any other show besides Gangsta Grill. Yeah, well actually he couldn't have, because then I would have got that jock in, in hot water with me. Because um, the reality of it is, is when I heard that um, a particular artist was talking about bitch slapping one of my talents, um, that's something that I can't come in as, as the program director, operations manager, and just act like I didn't hear or see that. So, um, you know, we got the message uh, to, to Jeezy, which I respect and have, you know, I've always been a fan of his. There was no official ban on, on playing his music. I've heard a lot of different things. But there are different ways to communicate uh, to people. Um, and he actually ended up asking for a meeting with me. You know, because he's a businessman, he needs his records played, and he needs to, you know, get the love from the radio station. Um, and he actually said, "Hey, you know, what's the problem?" You know, and and we actually met downstairs in uh, in uh, the restaurant downstairs and and chopped it up. And he told me his side of the story, and you know, and then I thought, okay, well, there's two sides to every story, and then there's the truth. And so I kind of heard both of those guys out. And at the end of the day, um, I, I made it clear that it's better for Atlanta hip hop and better for each of them to, to kill the beef because the reality of it is is that you know people were getting slashed in the streets and and they were fighting in the clubs and it was really not a good look and I didn't want this to develop into a situation like Tupac and Biggie um, you know some people might say well it can never be on that scale that's East Coast West Coast but I don't care about East Coast West Coast what I do care about is Atlanta and in Atlanta it was a big deal uh, and to be totally real with you, I didn't really know how big of a deal it was until I started getting involved. I do know when I showed up at Birthday Bash last year, one of my star players by the name of DJ Drama was not at Birthday Bash. And that's what, you know, tipped me to it. I was like, well, wait a second. How is DJ Drama not going to be at Birthday Bash? This is our signature event. And, um, and they said, they told me what happened that Thursday before the Saturday, you know, concert. And I, I kind of got that. It was just better that everybody you know, just kind of be in their own way, you know, and that, you know, we had Gucci on, and I think we had an hour and a half, two hours separation before Jeezy and his crew came in, so we had to get one crew out and bring the next crew in, and that's just not any kind of way to operate, you know, I think that we're, we're bigger and better than that, and, and, you know, you can agree to disagree and still be respectful, so he, he called for a meeting, and, and I told him what, what uh, my opinion was, and I think at the end of the day, it took those two men, you know, some people give me credit, you know, in the latest Vibe magazine, you know, which was kind of nice that Jeezy gave me props, but the reality of it is, is I, you know, first of all, I think God has to have his hand on stuff in, that, in order for anything to happen, but really Jeezy and drama had to come together. It's not about Hurricane Dave, but it is about those two people coming together and even agreeing to disagree and, and be peaceful with it because it's important for the city of Atlanta. So I'm excited that those guys are back on the same page. With so much beef in hip hop, did you realize that you were gonna be setting a precedent? And also, what made you like say, I'm gonna make an OG call, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's part of my responsibility. You know, and I, and I would do it again if, if, you know, I'm not trying to jump in the middle of beefs, but, but I think that, you know, as, as adults, man, and as, as people who love this game, this game that we're in, you know, there are going to be times when there's rivalries and there's going to be times when, when there's beefing, but at the end of the day, we all need to put all of that aside so we can all get this paper. That's what it's about. That's what we're doing it for. I mean, we're doing it for the love and the craft, you know, but, you know, if, you, if we're trying to get paid, I can't have, uh, you know, uh, not be playing a Jeezy or, or getting an attitude with Jeezy or drama can't do what he needs to do in the city and move around in the city because he fears for, you know, some, some uh, uh, other people's affiliates who may want to try to cause a problem. It just makes sense you know, for us to get along, you know, and, and hip hop is bigger than that. I mean, that, you know, that whole gangster mentality and gangster image and all that stuff, I get that. Some of these guys are real gangsters. Some of them are real killers. Some of them are real drug dealers. And some of them also aren't, you know what I mean? So some of them, it's just, it's just uh, the image that you project, you know, and, and at the end of the day, nobody, even if you're, if you're a kingpin drug dealer, you don't want your people getting killed. That's your fam. So let's just squash that. Mm -hmm. You said it made sense. 
when you use common sense, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> but from a hip hop perspective, beef sells. Mm -hmm. Why did you go against the grain? Because a lot of people would have exploited that situation mm -hmm. and made it more out of even what it was and just kept riding on. Yeah, well, I, I come from uh, you know a background where I've seen a lot of things. Um, uh, all of it not good, you know. I mean, I used to work in Houston, and um, I did nights down there, and and uh, you know, I've just been around what happens around gang violence. I mean, I, I've seen a dude get his face shot off with a shotgun, you know. And I've seen people get shot in the clubs. I've seen a lot of violence, and it's just something that you know. If I if I have any kind of instrument to curb that, then I would rather curb that than the, to let it elevate and. <laughs> and get to a point to where um, somebody could get hurt you know so you know exploiting that is good for record sales but I I'm not in the record selling business thank God I'm in the ratings thing and I need my, my strong players to, to be on on the air and feeling comfortable and we need to be playing the hottest records in the streets okay. mm -hmm. with that message that you just conveyed does hot have any particular shows where you have community people come in and they actually talk about the gang stuff that's going on in Atlanta mm -hmm. and just try to offer community support and to talk to the youngsters over the radio. Right. No, we don't have a particular show that does that. Um, I have been in some markets where we would stop the music and do a stop the violence segment. Mm -hmm. um, it all just depends on, on what the city of Atlanta you know, requires. You know, if there was something that was a jump off in the city of Atlanta, Atlanta we certainly would stop the music and talk about that. Um, but we don't have a regular occurring show. We do do some public service announcements. Um, so we do some community, uh, some community stuff. And we're out at community events like turkey drives and stuff like that. And uh, clothing drives for the winter. But, uh, but that's something that I've been thinking about. Okay. Yo, what's up? This is Hurricane Dave. The boss is in the building. And you are checking out hiphopwire.com. You already know that. So what's up?